Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 9 of Fake Grand Order Babylonia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. I don't want to watch this. I really don't want to watch this because, I mean, you know, my best girl is gone. I still have my other best girls, but. Because I know the next time, probably when we see her, she's not gonna be her anymore. She's gonna be different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. Oh no. Yeah, I'm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. They're probably not even going to have her in the opening anymore. I mean, no, they are. They're going to have her in the opening. Same thing with Leon. And then it's just going to be like, tears. <laughs> Like, why did she have to <laughs> not die, but then get captured, and then she gonna turn into something that I don't know what it is? People who are playing the game, they know what it is. I ain't gonna know until probably, like, what, halfway point? Maybe even in a couple of weeks from now? I saw that fucking green hair bash. Oh, like, it's so pretty! It's so pretty! Between this show and Magical Girl Rising Project, the show that she was in, she lasted only like seven episodes and then she dies. But in this, she don't die. She gets sacrificed for something else. And I don't know what it is. And I don't want it to happen, but it's too late. It's already too late. She probably changed. Who knows? Like, and I only have blonde Rin left. I don't have anybody else. But no, I have Anna and Mush. But you know, still, that's not the same. I don't care about Medusa. Well, damn. Yeah. 
Hey, we at least got to try though. And of course, you ain't going to show it until. Mm hmm. Of course. Oh, no. Oh, no. Better hug the crap out of that little girl. <laughs> no, it's okay. What matters is that you are safe, you're not hurt. All I have left, I don't need you to die. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She's a little hard headed too, but that's okay. That would be funny if it was a star. Great. <laughs> She's worse than Yanta. So, you know, just, just come on down to the ground, ground level. Don't talk to you. I'm ready to go. That's why I love her so much. <laughs> it's just an acquaintance. Uh, that too. Um, you know, hey, kind of figured they were going to fight anyway, but fuck it. What the hell is in the bag? Is something in the bag just gonna straight up trap her ass?
Okay. I mean, hey, you know, because we like that. We women, we like, you know, very nice diamonds and gems and ruby. <laughs> Yeah, I also hope y'all pick that up after. <laughs> yep, just go ahead and pick everything up and then go back home. You want him to kiss your face? <laughs> Besides, it's not normal. <laughs> you know, there are probably people who have foot fetishes watching this show, and they're just like, yes! And I'm over here like, no. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, you, it's just like multiple personalities in a way. Because she's still there, but she can't come out, or... I, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> 
put that inside place? I know. Only if this happened last fucking week. But no. Yeah, but the way she kind of perked up when you started talking about it, I have a weird feeling that she don't have it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have it, don't you? <laughs> she don't have it. Oh, you have to love her so much. She's so precious. Cody. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah. That's what my dog looks like.
Oh. These are so fucking precious. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. There's too many feels. Like, see, I needed that after last week's episode because <laughs> as much as I don't want to talk about last week's episode, it still happened. And it was good. I mean, but we got to see the best girl. She's there. I just want her to, like, I mean, essentially, she's still going to be in, in, in her no matter what. But I just wonder if there's a way to just separate them both but if there is it's probably not gonna happen until like later on maybe the second half of the show possibly but now you know she's an ally which is good now we just need to figure out how to defeat what to say so then just get over that and be merry and then just you know other is get down to business and stuff like that i just i'm scared to find out what could possibly happen next in the next few weeks because we do know my other best girl, she's going to come back. And like I said, she ain't going to be the same. She's going to be different. She's probably going to be a... She's considered a writer, so... My money is she might be an archer or she might be a berserker. I feel like she's going to be a berserker a lot more. I don't know what she looks like after the fact is that she's, you know, going to look different. But she might look the same. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to know until we get there. But I, I think, you know, when she does come, it's going to be a very emotional day. But, like, to focus back on Ishtar, I literally, literally have another episode just focusing on Ishtar and her backstory a little bit more was really good. Because the fact is, like, the last episode we've had that focused on her was, like, several weeks ago. And I had, like, so many questions about her. But just seeing her, like, literally sneeze and you see blood. <laughs> My girl, like, right there. Oh, my God. I wanted to just stop that. But, like, the episode could have just ended right there and been like, that's it. Should we continue? You can see the rest next week. But she's just there. Like, oh, my God. And she's so pretty. I mean, it's sort of pretty, too. But blood right Blind. Like, oh, my God. Like, I can't. I just, oh, my God. But, like, okay, let's also talk about, yes, Anna's okay. Thank God. Because, I mean... Oh, if anything had happened to Anna, like, if Anna would have died, I probably, I don't think I would have been done with the show, I just would have been pissed, because typically, I mean, she is the youngest out of all these characters, and it's like, you don't want anything to happen to the cute, adorable child in the show, and typically sometimes in any, maybe somewhat horror anime, when they cry, Danganronpa, um, anything that I've seen where there's been a little kid, 50 out of 50, the little kid dies before the show ends, and I don't really want to see. I'm fine with her getting hurt because, yeah, I also get a little emotional about that. But, like, if she if it's to the point where she has lost so much blood, thank God it didn't happen. But if it does, oh my God, I, I, I need her to just survive this whole freaking series. Let, let her be the light at the end of the tunnel that we see by the end of this damn show because if she dies, like, oh God, I mean... Because, mm, like I said, I only have her, Ishtar, uh, my blonde ring, Mash, um, and then maybe anybody else who pops up. That's it. That's four girls. <laughs> because I had five, and she's gone now, and who knows when she's going to return. But, yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction for your choice. Episode 9 of Fake Grand Order Babylonia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. From the Mattress Guide, and of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.